In the last video, we took an initial look at what events are, and we covered the on click event. And of course, we set up a button so that when the user clicked on that button, the on click event triggered JavaScript code. In this video, we are going to look at the mouse over event. This event gets triggered when the user moves his or her mouse over an HTML element. And this mouse over event works with almost all HTML elements. So you can choose the element or elements that you want to change when a user rolls over that element. Now, similar to the on click event, the mouse over has the word on before it. So it's actually on mouse over, and you'll see it in a few seconds. So again, a mouse over event gets triggered when your user puts their mouse over a particular element. So in this case, we have a paragraph element. So remember, we need to place the event in our HTML element. That's the first thing we have to do, the element that we want to change. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste here. And there you can see, we have the on mouse over event, that's what the name is, and then we're gonna call our function, which I've named change background. So when we hover over our paragraph element, the background color over our text should change. And then let's go over and take a look at our JavaScript code. And you can see here I'm defining a variable text, and we're doing what we've been doing, right? We're gonna get the element ID para, that's the first thing we have to do in our two-step process, and then we have to do something. In this case, we're gonna use the style object, we're gonna use the background color property, which of course is part of the style object, and we're just gonna change that to red. So let's go ahead and see what we get here, and we'll launch this in Chrome. And there you can see we got our background color red. But you'll notice that when I move the cursor off of the text, the background color just stays up. And that's probably not what we want. We want this to be a little bit more responsive. So what we want is when the user moves his cursor off of the text, we want that background color to go away. And we actually have to create another event to handle that. So actually you get to learn about two events in this video, two for the price of one. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we need to come back to our HTML code and add that other event. And it's actually not on mouse over because that event occurs when we put the cursor over our element. So we need to put the event right past our first event here, which was on mouse over. And I'll go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And you can see it's called the on mouse out event appropriately named. So when we move our mouse off of this element, the background color will go away. And I've appropriately named the function back to normal. So now we actually need to add this function. So let's go over to our JavaScript code and we can just copy and paste what we had here. And then we're just gonna change this back to normal. Now what's different here is that we just need to get rid of our styling. So we're doing the same thing. We have to get the element ID, we have to use the style object and then the background color property and all we do is just get rid of the red here, the value, and this will remove the styling. And let's go back to our web page and you know what? I need to put a quote there because this won't work without a quote. Big mistake. Okay, we don't need two quotes, we just need one. So let's see what we get here. And there's our background color. And there you can see when we hover over it, it works. And when we go off it, it did not work. So I made a mistake. So that's fine. Let's go back and see what we did wrong here, or what I did wrong. So we have our back to normal function. Let's go over to our JavaScript code and take a look here. Ah, take a look at that. These function names are case sensitive. I'm actually glad this happened. You can see just how sensitive JavaScript code can be. So let's try this again. And now it should work, hopefully. And there you can see it works. So you can see now how we can use multiple events to do multiple things in JavaScript. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.